If you're a parent who doesn't have primary custody of your child in Texas, understanding your visitation rights is crucial to maintaining a strong relationship with your child. Visitation, also known as periods of possession, is the time that a non-custodial parent can spend with their child. My name is Laura D. Hurd, and I have lived in San Antonio all of my life. And since 1987, I've been an attorney who's helped people get through divorce and child custody issues. Let's explore together the things that you need to know about your visitation rights. As the non-custodial parent, we want you to be able to make the most of your time with your child. First, it's important to read and understand your specific visitation order that would be contained in your final decree of divorce or your final order or the most recent order by the Attorney General concerning your visitation. Each visitation order can be unique. We do have standard visitation in Texas, but the judges do not have to order standard visitation and those can be customized or modified according to what the judge thinks is fair and best interest for the child. The standard visitation order includes first, third, and fifth weekends for the non-custodial parent, as well as half of the holidays, or at least some of the holidays, and an extended period during the summer. Make the most of your visitation time with your child by planning activities that center around them. Give your child your full attention in the time that you do have with them. Help them with their homework and go to their extracurricular activities, even if that's not your favorite thing to do. Plan some meaningful conversations with your child, but don't pump them for information about what happens in the other household of the other parent. If you believe that your visitation rights are being violated, document those things and communicate with the other side. Remember, the goal is not to get the other side in trouble or to prove that you're right, but the goal is to make sure that you have the time that you need with your child and to do what's best for the child. So be prepared to compromise and be willing to work things out with the other side. If the other side absolutely will not work with you, then you may need to have a witness to see what's going on and maybe even call the police if that's appropriate to get it documented in a police report. Keep a journal and be sure and document the dates and the times and specifically what happened. And then talk to an attorney about what can be done to enforce your visitation rights. We have other videos that talk about alternative ways that families have chosen to have visitation rights and time with each parent. And there are also some apps that are available to help you with that, calendars and communication apps on the telephone. One is called Our Family Wizard and one is called App Close. And those are ways to help you to communicate and document things with the other side. With any visitation plan, it's important for the parents to be flexible and to put the child's needs first. Remember, if the parent doesn't show up for visitation or is consistently not there on time, it can be an emotional trauma to the child. It's important to the child to know that their parent's going to show up on time. Remember, the child didn't choose for you to get married and the child didn't choose for their parents to get divorced. It's not the child's fault. And the child isn't really old enough to understand all the implications of the divorce. But it is important for you to do what the child needs to provide consistency and stability so that the child knows what to expect. Prioritize your child's needs, but at the same time, it's important for parents to be flexible. Emergencies happen. Cars don't start sometimes, or there's car accidents, 
or traffic's bad or planes get delayed or people get sick. And sometimes it's unavoidable. So be understanding of the other side and be flexible and allow them to make up time that is missed. Taking the other parent to court to enforce a child custody matter and visitation is a last resort, but it is a tool that's available. Consult with an attorney. Don't hesitate to call my firm to set up a consultation and get some advice about what you should do next. My name is Laura Hurd, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Take care.